Hello. Hello. <coughs> Tony Baker, please. I'm speaking. Hi, this is Kevin Fredericks from the Coalition of Barbers who are also doctors. Okay. And, uh, okay. <clears throat> we received your case, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, I've got some bad news. <sighs> your beard's never going to fully grow in. Oh. We saw your application mm -hmm. for full beard review, mm -hmm. injections. Okay. We uh, know you don't like the cheered. Uh, we know women are fully going for the full man beard, mm -hmm. but your follicles have been dead since 87 <laughs> on the side. I've also got some glasses that see into the future. Oh, yeah, no. And I'm looking into your future and still not going to connect anywhere. <laughs> People are asking if you could at least grow a mustache so the whole villain look doesn't come across all the time. Mm. Children are scared running in the streets. They just want to know if you could uh, stop having the no mustache and just cut it all off. We know that makes you look like a pedophile, but you're not. You're a good man, father of two. And uh, I'm sorry, Tony. We did the best we could. It also happened to me. My beard won't connect either, and I'm getting the... Uh, the transplant. So it was the last one. So you feel my pain? Right? Yeah, I'm sorry, Tom. I feel it. I do. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Come on, Tony, you should have wrote. Oh, you laugh now, the call over. <laughs> <laughs> Never could connect. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, man. I know where this is going. Hello. Yes, is this uh, Kevin Frederick? Yes, this is he. Are you sitting down? Yes. Tremendous. Uh, got some bad news for you, Kevin. You know your favorite aunt, Katie Fredericks? The one that never dragged you to any spades and pinochle games? No, she never did. Got some bad news about your aunt, Kevin. Uh, she was assaulted by her scarecrow on her farm. Oh, that darn scarecrow. The scarecrow. He broke a Hennessy bottle over her head <laughs> and gave her the best. There was no sexual assault. Oh, okay. It was pure physical, just straight beat down. <laughs> he beat your aunt's ass. <laughs> served her up. She served her up like they was having a relationship. God dang it. And that's and that's what we wanted to talk to you about also. Like the, the, did she have pictures of the two of them together on her <laughs> Facebook? There had to be a love connection here. Three Halloweens ago, it did get a little weird between them. I figured. She was sleeping outside for a couple of nights, but we thought it was just a phase. That was, that was, a, that was a crime of passion, okay? Worked her completely over. We did find, we knew it was him. Uh, you know, we found some scarecrow shavings in her fingernails. So clearly <laughs> she struggled. And, uh, you know. We saw some hay on her clothes. Is and, she dead? Uh, no, he, oh, she's alive. She's, oh. she's good to go. She's still here. She's just, uh, she's in and out of consciousness, and uh, the scarecrow is nowhere to be found. He ran off. The cross is still there. The crows have taken over. They they're dabbling, they dabbling in her crop as we speak. Because the scarecrow dipped out on his job. So if you know anything about this runaway scarecrow let us know and come see your aunt man right. she needs the support and uh so we're on the lookout man if he only had a brain huh? well apparently he has a heart because his heart must have been broken to whoop your aunt's ass the way he did complete ass whooping this ass whooping needs paperwork and a paycheck you gotta fill out a w9 for asking this man oh, let's see katie but hang in there, Kevin Fred. All right. You a soldier, man. You a real one. Thank you. I'm no good at this stuff, man. I like laughing. It makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you for watching this episode and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow All Deaf Digital on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Holla!